psychic violence is physical violence. Someone that has been subjected to emotional neglect or emotional violence, that means verbal, verbal attacks, over and over again. I'm not talking about just uh, angry words, really psychological torture where people talk down on you because they want to feel good about themselves, over and over again. Such people are likely to develop symptoms as PTSD or some other anxiety disorder. When you scan the brain of an individual that's healthy and an individual that's suffering PTSD, you can see changes in the brain. The one with PTSD has a smaller hippocampus. Now, you're, we're not medical students here, but hippocampus is a part of the brain. I can't really point uh, on the camera, but it's part of the brain. It's a tiny, like a bow. It's tiny like a bow, and it's where memory formation takes place. Something in that direction. Medical students are much far better than I do. But that's one of the roles of the hippocampus. The hippocampus is, has shrunk, shrunken with people that are suffering from PTSD or anxiety disorders. And also, how the brain responds to uh, excellent triggers is also different. So, what was done to those people is not just in their, in their heads that they're imagining it. They've encountered a real physical injury, an injury in their brain. They have been brain damaged by people that haunted them. Now, I'm not saying this can't be reversed, because healing is possible, absolutely. But still, you need to recognize it's a real physical injury that took place. Someone did not pick up a knife and stab them in their head. That didn't happen. But the negative tension that they transferred onto the individual, it, it cost, uh, let me say, it shocked the energy field of the individual, and the shock of the energy field also had a magnet, electromagnetic effect on the body, which caused brain damage. Some people suddenly develop uh, cancer, or they develop tumors, or they, they develop all kinds of bodily uh, deformities. And when doctors go and look for a cause, they often can find a cause. Or it can be that someone has no bodily deformity that directly, but they can't walk, or they can't use a part of their arm, or they feel intense pain in their back. And when they make scans, they see no physical defect that can cause the pain in the back or the disability. When they can't find a cause, they'll say psychosomatic. That means that the bodily, uh, the bodily defect or the bodily dysfunction is caused by a wrong way of thinking, by unprocessed trauma. Even scientists who have a quite naturalistic attitude admit that the mind and body are connected. So, apart from psychosomatic symptoms that shows there's something wrong with your mind, understand that if people at a distance murmur and complain about you, if they rage against you, it will affect you. It can be that you're in your room and suddenly uh, you have to throw up, or suddenly uh, it's like you have this pain in your belly or wherever. Those are shocks caused by the rage emitted against you. It will have a physical effect. And if the psychic violence is very intense and weight and, and, your, and your body can't handle the shock of the energy fields, you may even die. So, psychic violence is physical violence. That's why if you've been the target of intense psychic violence, and you feel symptoms in your body as if you were physically injured, take your rest. Be active in daily life. I'm telling you not to be active in daily life. Be active. Be prosperous. 
take your rest. If you need to sleep a bit more, sleep a bit more. Why? Because your body was not directly attacked physically. But what happens to you on an energetic level affects your body indirectly. So your body has been affected. So someone did not stab you in, in your face, but you still feel this intense pain in your face that can't be medically uh, explained. And this pain comes and goes and this pain remains. And you realize when this pain comes, and then you look at the timeline and realize, oh, I just had a breakthrough in January. And now, the 2nd of February, I had this intense pain over here. And shortly after you had this intense pain, you look on YouTube or you look on Facebook and there's some uh, angry comment of some troll. What's going on? You don't have com now have confirmation. You were on the psychic attack. And that's why your body has been attacked. So psychic violence is physical violence. It's indirect physical violence. With direct physical violence, the damage is done directly to the body and the body may collapse or die quicker because the attack on the body is direct. Physical on physical. With psychic violence, the damage to the body is indirect. So you may get this energy bomb of rage thrown at you and you suddenly feel quite weird, as if you're you're being choked. And the shock also affects your body. And before you know it, you have breathing issues. Or you may you don't know how to, uh, you may have difficulty walking. Those are the after effects that affect your physical body. So it's an indirect assault on your body. A lot of people don't see it that way. They think psychic like attacks just something out there, very vague, very spooky. No. Psychic violence is physical violence. And you need to see it for what it is. So many of you are being physically assaulted right now from a distance. You have people 10, 20 kilometers away, some even 100 kilometers away, who are meditating, meditating in anger about you, and that's why you feel so uncomfortable. You're being physically assaulted. And that's why you ought to walk by faith. And, th and that's why you need to walk in anointing so that your energy field around you is thick and strong. That's why when you wake up in the morning, you wake up in prayers, decrees, and declarations. Prayer and fasting should be part of your daily life. When you do that every morning, it's the same as going to the gym. Instead of training your physical muscles, you're training your energy fields. And when you train your energy field, it will also have better facial effects on your physical body also. Your mind here is quite powerful on your body. That's why the enemy attacks your mind. That's why when people want to get you down, they attack your mind so that you will lose your mind. That's why you ought to be renewed in your mind so that you have the mind of Christ. Because when you have the mind of Christ, you become immune to violence. And that's where you ought to be. That's it for now. Keep it on green with Christ and be at peace.